So I'm out on my boat again today and uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot is how do I cope with my internet? As I'm always uploading videos to YouTube and sometimes, as you can see, I can be in the middle of nowhere and uh, obviously having a good signal is uh, quite important. So I've gone through quite a few different setups on my boat, uh, starting out with tethering from my phone. That is a bit of a problem on my boat currently because uh, I've got all sorts of smart things. They need a reliable connection to the internet. Well, the last time I was doing uh, tethering was probably about six years ago, five, six years ago. I think I was with O2 at the time. Uh, they would only let you tether a certain amount of data if I was using anything like a computer on board, you could easily go through your data quite quickly. So the data was really expensive doing it that way and you couldn't really connect more than five devices, five or six devices. And every device you added made the signal weaker and uh, the strength of the internet was very poor. So moving forward, I moved aboard on my wide beam straight away. I needed to find another solution. I wasn't always on the boat initially because uh, I had to get it to a point where I could be on the boat and have some sort of power, water and uh, things like that. I needed to put cameras on board. The problem was I couldn't leave my phone on board. Uh, these little boxes that you can buy were so underpowered. I couldn't get a stable or reliable internet. So I looked on the internet and seen that three was actually uh, doing a couple of different versions of uh, 3G, 5, 4G and 5G routers uh, that worked off SIM cards. Initially I got a, an Awawi 4G cube. That was actually pretty good, but it was still limited slightly because antenna and box and router was all in one. You had to power it up placed inside and without any external uh, antenna. So I had a bit of a look on the internet, come across a offer for a 5G router. I think there's other companies that do it but with three there was a 5G router with external antenna ports on the back, four of them, and uh, that got me thinking that there must be there must be an, an external antenna for these uh, these things. So I, I checked it out and spoke to a couple of other boaters that I'd seen something very similar on and then found this uh, 5G ready router that was um, dual band and it had four connections which is what I was looking for. Anyway I've uh, had that connected for a good eight months or so and it's been fantastic actually. I have uh, internet at various different strengths depending where I am all the while but as you can see, I am in the middle of the countryside. There's not even a road close by. I don't see any antennas, but I'm getting quite good signal still. I'm gonna do a couple of speed tests to show you what sort of speeds I'm getting. As long as it's like seven meg upwards, all of my stuff sort of seems to connect. Um, but I quite often get into areas where it's 200, uh, 300 meg and that's quite, you know, that's obviously very good. But, uh, you know, 10 meg and upwards is absolutely adequate for what I do. I'm not downloading massive files and uh, the videos seem to upload quite quickly anyway. There's probably about 15 to 20 smart devices on the boat. So it does need quite a good signal. So I'm going to do some signal testing and just show you what sort of what sort of strength I get when I'm actually in a pretty bad location in the middle of nowhere. So I'm back in the boat. I'm just going to do a bit of a quick speed check and see what sort of internet signal we're currently getting. And then I'm going to move on a little bit into a little bit of a different area and see uh, if it's any better or if it's worse. So as you can see it's actually not a bad signal. Um, not great if you were gaming but uh, quite easily you could 
use everything in the in the property with no problem streaming tv and things like that and using your phones and uh cameras and lighting and all that sort of thing works absolutely fine at that sort of speed so we're going to move on a little bit and um, see what the results are up there and highly likely it'll be um, a little bit stronger because we're sort of below the hills at the moment and we should be a little bit higher so it should make a bit of a difference but let's go and move on and uh, we'll see what the difference is so now leaving well I've got pretty bad signal oh look at all the, the mess I'm leaving behind well, that's not me but that's uh, gathered at the side of my boat so we're going to go up through those locks and, uh, and do a little bit of maintenance whilst I'm in those locks as well because I can get to both sides of the boat I've actually hopefully haven't lost it but yeah look is that that's fell off or well, the screws have come out or something so don't want to lose that so I'll put that back on at the same time but that's where I'm going and we'll see if we get any better signal once we're up at the top there this is just um, to make it a little bit easier for me in the morning as I've got to go through Sallington Tunnel on the Leicester Line and it's about a mile long it takes me about 35 to 40 minutes to go through concentrating at the entire time which I've literally got like six inches either side of my boat otherwise I uh, smack into it into the uh, into the tunnel not a nice place to go if you don't like uh, confined spaces I don't mind it but uh, I wish I didn't have to concentrate for quite so long it's uh, pretty heavy going so I'm just going to come up and more up to here whilst I do the locks let's uh, So we're at the level, there's the mast, we're going around that corner over that way. Um, so it will be interesting to see how much of a signal we've got once we get round there. Did you feel the way? Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey. As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up just past here, just before the next bridge. I think this would be a nice spot for the evening. So I'm going to put you down, tie up, and then we're going to do some uh, speed tests. So, right, we've just moored up. Turn the engines off. And I've got a funny feeling there is um, a cellular tower over towards the Fleckney, which would make a lot of sense. I've just ran a speed test, but I'm going to show you what it comes like. So we'll we'll start it again and uh, show you what it comes up at. So as you can see, that ain't bad signal, 30 odd, and it's stable between 25 and 30 meg. If we just go down a few hundred yards, it can be 
totally different again. I feel it's fairly stable internet. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. It is totally free and I could do with your support. Thank you.